Ghassam Soleimani, you take him out. That's their hero. That's their general pattern. When you take him out, they want to seek vengeance. So now, hey, they're, they're targeting you. They're coming after you. Assassination attempts, all this stuff. They create these videos that they're going to come. We haven't forgotten that you took our hero out. Great. So Carter Reagan, when Reagan got elected, remember they released, was it 59 prisoners, uh, you know, who had yeah. been held hostage for 444 days? If I'm getting the numbers right, can you see... 59, 444 days. What's the number? 52 I'm, Americans, 444 days. 44 days. days. Boom. The minute inauguration, they release them. Khomeini, right? And it's like, oh, this guy's is going to do something about it. This is my question for you. Say you win November 5th. Say it's a landslide. Say it's done, okay? From November 5th to your yeah. going back to putting your yeah. hand in inauguration on the stage. During that time, that season, what do you think is going to happen during that season? Is during that season Russia, Ukraine going to be done? During that season, you think it's going to be that quickly? Or think do you think it's world, going to be after? I think the world's going to behave, and I think I will settle Russia, Ukraine while I'm president elect. At, while you're president elect? While I'm president elect. Wow. You need that credibility. Sure. While I'm president elect, I will settle it. You know, I met with Zelensky the other day. Uh, I have good relationship with Putin and with Zelensky. He didn't look too happy standing next to you, though. Well, look, this is a war that should have never happened. You have millions of people that are dead, much more than you're reading about. You know, when you see these, I was amazed at how big. I'm in the real estate business, to put it mildly. Sure. So I know buildings. Those buildings were massive. You know, they were long rather than tall. They were 12 to 15 stories. But they went, like for blocks, they were massive buildings. Rockets were hitting the buildings. They were collapsing. A lot of people were killed. You hear two people were injured. No, no. Many people were killed. That war is much more deadly than they're telling you. It has to be settled. But here's the problem. It should have never happened. If I were president, that war would have never happened. Putin would have never done it. The war would have never happened. You're saying, without even a settlement. Without even a settlement. But you're saying after November 5th, pre as a president elect you're saying things are going to get done during that time? I'd like to be able How to How about do, Iran you know, and Israel? What, what uh, about that one? Uh, well, that depends. A lot's happening right now. I know We're going to have to see what right. happens. Okay. That one is a very interesting one. And <sighs> it's become more interesting because Israel didn't listen to Biden and, and her and did what they wanted to do. And they put themselves in a pretty strong position. I mean, let's face it. Who would have thought this was going to happen? Uh, everybody was very afraid of Iran. They're less afraid of Iran now. What they did to Hezbollah and Hamas, if you take a look um, at... Nasser Allah, they, they took everybody out. I mean, the, no, the pagers I mean, no, there. No, the whole thing with the pagers. Right. It, it was from the pagers that... Because those were your leaders. I mean, those were the leaders. It was That's like 2,000 right. Straight 3, to the top. And the guy that replaced them, they out. took him out as well. I mean, uh, that was that... Because so nobody wants like that job. And I was like, hey, would you like this job? I'll pass. I don't want the, the job. Right. right. So it's a different... You know, it's a different story. But only because Bibi did not listen to Biden. Biden wanted everything to just sort of right. foment. Um, they wouldn't listen to him. Do you think Bibi Which will listen to you? Which tells you... Do I what? Do you think BB will listen to you? Uh, yeah. Oh, he'll listen to me 100%. 100%. 100%. Don't forget, I got them more than, and not because this isn't the reason, but I got them Golan Heights. Mm -hmm. They've been trying to get it for as long as they were around. I got them Golan Heights. They wanted, they pe planes would fly in every year to try and figure it out. I got them Golan Heights. <laughs> But more importantly than that, I ended the Iran nuclear deal, which was BB fought like hell to have it. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Fought like mm -hmm. hell. Came in to see Obama. Fought. And I also got him very important. I, I helped them with their military, everything else. But I got him Jerusalem, capital. I got him Jerusalem. Not only did I get it for him, I built the embassy. I didn't just say that. I got it built. And I built it for peanuts too. I didn't spend two billion dollars. <throat> I built it for. I love what you said the other day when you were doing the uh, uh, the new Air Force One from five point three billion to three point yeah. seven billion. Hey, who would have paid? They would have paid for that. It's it, it's great to have no, a negotiator. Said, does that mean I, you made right, one point seven, 7 billion, billion? Which is that, insane. That a, you're sitting there and like, yeah, Obama, they just cut the check. And I'm like, what are you talking about? An operator would never do that. So the property I'm on right now, we've been working on buying this property for the last three years. It's on eleven acres. It's got two hangars. It's on an airport. 
We want to find a way to celebrate this as a new headquarters with inviting you to an event on November 5th, which is election night. So you come up here, imagine there's going to be a couple major tents, 40 feet by 100 feet. But over here inside the hangar is where the podcast will be held. This entire thing will be open like it is right now. It's going to be from 6 p.m. is when it starts. All the way up to 2 o'clock in the morning. Who knows? Maybe we go 3, 4 o'clock in the morning because a lot of things that's going to be going on. And by the way, there's five ticket tiers that you can purchase. Each one's got more things to offer. But even locally, there's general tickets to buy for just $75. There's one caveat after you buy the ticket. When you buy the ticket and you come on November 5th, you have to wear Future Looks Bright gear. Get your tickets, and I cannot wait to see you at our new headquarters in Fort Lauderdale. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.